Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. Now, helmets are an essential purchase for anyone climbing outdoors, less perhaps if you're a boulderer. Now, some helmets are designed for specific circumstances and purposes, while others are more all-rounders. And that's what we're looking at today, our top three do-it-all helmets. Some helmets are designed to be very lightweight with lots of ventilation, but they do tend to come at a cost. Down towards the more budget end of the spectrum, helmets are heavier. They have less vents and then less ventilation, but they are cheap and very durable. You can chuck them around, something that you can't really do with a lightweight helmet. So the all round is what we're looking at. And look, there probably isn't the perfect helmet, but what we've done is used our own knowledge, feedback from you guys and shop sales to pick our top three and they're in no particular order. These helmets are designed for multiple activities, whether it's trad climbing in the Peak District, mountaineering here in Chamonix or sport climbing on Spanish crags, these should do it all. That's the theory. Let's look at our first helmet, the Black Diamond Capitan. The Capitan has been designed to handle some abuse. It weighs 295 grams for the small and medium versions. It's got great coverage on the sides and back with a two-piece ABS shell construction that allows for optimized fit, but also the cool dual colors with a variety of different colors available. The outside is a combination of EPP and EPS foam puck, which meet all the UIAA standards. There are lots of vents, so sweat management shouldn't be a problem, but not so many the head is kept cold on cold days. There is an integrated headlamp clip at the front of the helmet and a strap to secure it at the back. Black Diamond gave me the Capitan to wear and use almost a year ago now, before it was even released, so I have put it through its paces and I absolutely love it. The venting is brilliant, it feels nice and secure on your head, obviously, all the standards for protection, but it's the looks that I like about this thing. The way it sweeps forward in this aggressive way, that swoop over the top. I just think it suits my head quite well, but I'm sure you guys can tell me differently. The features are good. I like how low it drops down on the sides and that gives you the extra protection uh, down there. And that feels good when you're wearing it because you're almost cocooned within that helmet. And it does give you extra confidence in rock fall prone areas. Slight criticism is the sort of strap system at the back, which I've never really got on with. It, it's a bit fiddly and quite hard to do with gloves, but because this was a prototype version, it might have been tweaked a little bit for the production model. So if that's the case, you guys let me know down in the comments. Okay, from Black Diamond to Petzl, and it's time to look at the Borea and the Boreo. The two helmets are essentially the same with the Borea aimed at women or men with ponytails as the back strap has been adapted to accommodate for that. The Borea has only one size available and is 10 kilograms heavier. The small medium version of the Borea weighs 285 grams and has an ABS shell, expanded polythene, EPP and EPS liner. This is another helmet that offers great side protection. It's been certified by the UIAA and they call it top and side protection. It's a good feeling knowing that your head is protected all the way around. Both these helmets have been used as long-term tests for myself and Teresa. You can see the GoPro mount uh, on my helmet doesn't come with it, so don't expect that. And they are great helmets. They've got that top and side protection certification from Petzl and the UIAA. And again, that just gives you that extra confidence when you're out in the mountains and rocks can kind of come at you from all different types of angles. My head shape is weird, I will be honest, and I do find Petzl helmets to be a little bit bulbous on me, and I think I prefer the styling of the Black Diamond helmet. Having said that, it's completely subjective and personal, and loads of people love Petzl, and I wear it all the time myself. The venting is good, again, maybe not quite as vented as the Black Diamond, but I've never really got hot in this thing or felt over sweaty, so it does hit that middle ground really nicely, and I have abused this helmet. I mean, it gets chucked around. I, I do apologize, Petzl, but I throw this in the back of my car and it's just, it just takes everything. Head torch clips on this are a bit different, uh, not integrated like on the Black Diamond, but they work perfectly well. Okay, so that's the Petzl. Now let's move on to something far more unique, the Singing Rock Hex. 
The hex is covered with 35 hexagon and other shaped vents. It also comes with some eye-catching colors. The outer is made from ABS and EPP shell with a medium weighing in at 300 grams. The helmet is well padded and comfortable with a soft wide chin strap and an inner padding which is in one piece so you don't lose sections. That inner lining is also removable and washable. Headlamp clips at the front are large and integrated and an elastic system at the back keeps everything in place. I can never get my head around the hex because it does seem to polarise people with the looks of the thing. And I'm honestly not sure. I don't think I'm actually cool enough to pull it off. But if you are and you want something different, then the Singing Rock offers quality in terms of the features and the helmet performance itself. And you get that unique honeycomb style design throughout it. So perhaps one for you. Okay, so in summing things up, Black Diamond Capitaine, really good helmet, one of my favourite here. If you like the styling, you're going to love this, very well vented. The Borea and Boreo, well, they are the classic all-rounders. So many people have these helmets and there's a reason it's a favourite. Really good, very reasonably priced. And finally, that Singing Rock Hex. Well, look, if you like the styling, if you like the weird colours, the crazy honeycomb effect, it's a quality helmet. And hey, why not do something different? Okay, that's the helmets. If you want to find out more information, there's a link down below to the Epic TV shop. Do let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I'll see you soon.